no matter which way you slice it, the big story today has been yet another scratch here in the Kentucky Derby. In this case, a favorite, but I can assure you it's having no impact on the folks either up in the grandstand or in the infield from having a good time and placing their bets. We're betting Tappet Trice. We're betting Kings Barnes. Bet them if you want to win. Yeah, first try. I'm just saying. I've been doing this for quite some time. So one thing you can always remember is the track always wins, though. I think you're a winner. That's one thing. I am a winner. I woke up today and I'm a winner. but the number of scratches so late, never seen that before. Um, so it mixes everything up. So all that research you do and leading up to it and all the shows you watch and all that stuff. And now you gotta- Goes out the window. It. Yeah, you gotta redo it a day before and you were researching for two weeks and now it, the whole day changes it. What's your estimation of what's happened? Uh, this is like one of the weirdest derby. We've had a lot of weird derbies in recent years with just qualifications and rainstorms and, and all kinds of crazy, 80 to one shots. But uh, with all the scratches, including the one of the favorite, it's really been uh, it's really been a different one. It is what it is and they're gonna run a mile and a quarter today and that is that. And the winner will go into uh, the history books as the winner of the Kentucky Derby without any asterisks or anything, this horse will be the derby winner. Oh yeah, there he is again. It's wonderful. I'm happy. That's all that matters. I'm happy.